Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to enter a purchase when there is not GST on the full amount. So we're going to go through two common examples when this will arise. One will be a spend money transaction for a receipt uh, for when you go to the supermarket and you buy some food for your business. It might be some catering expense for a function. And then when you go to do the bookkeeping, you notice that there's not GST on every single item. So it won't be the full 10% across all of your purchases. So how do you enter that into zero? The second example is for a bill we're going to enter for an insurance policy. Most insurance policies will have a stamp duty component to it and stamp duty does not attract GST. So with most insurance policies, there will not be GST across the full amount. So you need to split that out again. So our first example here is a shopping receipt at the supermarket Coles. And we can see here the total for 10 items is 3680. But if we pull out our calculator, if there was GST on the full amount, it would be $3.34 GST. But we can see there's only $2.09 GST. And then if we look a little bit closer, we can see down here, it's got the percentage sign for taxable items. So we can see this has tax, this has tax, this has tax, this doesn't have tax. There's no tax on the tea bags. So rather than split it out into each individual line, we're just going to put it into two lines. One line for the GST, one line for the non-GST, providing that it's all catering expense, which it is in this example. So let's go over to zero. We're in the dashboard, we're going to click reconcile. And we can see here 3680 for Coles on the 6th of May. Here it is, 6th of May. So when we go to reconcile it, we type in Coles. There's no contact, so we're going to create a new contact. It's catering expense, so we click that. Now, if we were to reconcile this, this would reconcile it with GST on the full purchase for this amount, 33.34. But we know from the receipt that there is only $2.09 GST. So what we have to do is we have to click on the add details button. And here we can see there's the 3.34, which has been rounded up to 3.35 this amount here, which we know is incorrect. What we do know is that there's $2.09 GST. So in the first line here, we're going to type in $2.09 and we're going to multiply that by 11. So the GST component is $22.99 and you can see down here $2.09. But that only brings us to $22.99 and the full receipts for $36.80. The balance of which is the GST free component. So we're going to put in the balance, which is the leftover part of $36.80. And you can type your numbers directly into the unit price and use it as a calculator. Minus this amount here, $22.99. Tab, 413 for catering, it's the same account. But we need to change this to GST free expenses. And now we can see that the total is 36.80, 36.80, and the GST is $2.09. $2.09. So that is exactly what we want to see. And we're going to click Save Transaction. So we have the GST component and the GST free component split out into two separate lines. The second example we're going to do is a bill for an insurance policy. So let's go to business, bills to pay, and we're going to click on new bill. And we'll just make up a name here for the insurance provider. The date, the due date, we'll just say that's two weeks later. We'll make up an invoice number. And we'll say that this is insurance for a company vehicle. Now I'll pull up the example invoice here. 
and we're looking at this column here, the this year column. So we can see the total premium is 553.73. So if we were to type that in, GST expenses, we can see here that the GST has been calculated as a full 10% across the whole purchase for 50.34, which is 1 11th of 553.73. So 5034, but then we go back here and we can see that the GST, the goods and services tax, is only 4576. The reason this is lower, as I mentioned at the top of the video, is because it has a stamp duty component and stamp duty does not attract GST. So using the same methodology as before, we know the GST is 4576. So I'm going to type in here 4576 multiplied by 11. And there we got it there, 4576, and the GST component, the total component is 503.36. Now we've got to put in the GST free component. The invoice is for 553.73, so we need to put in the difference here. 553.73 minus 503.36, 50.37, and we're going to go GST free expenses. So we've got a line here on the top for GST on expenses and we've got a line below for GST free expenses. We can see the total invoice is 55373, 55373, and the GST is 4576. 4576. So we're satisfied for that and we can click approve. So that's it guys, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of working out how much GST is on your invoice or your receipt. And as a general rule, you should always check this figure down the bottom here, the 4576 against your invoice before you click approve. And if you're going to the supermarket or anywhere that you know that there's often items that will not attract GST, like your milk, groceries, things like that, always check the GST on the receipt against the GST that's been input into zero. So that's it for the video. I hope you learned something here. If you want to learn more about zero or other software packages, we've got a bunch of videos up here on YouTube. If you go over to our website, qtraining.net.au, you can book in a one-on-one -on -one session. We can do a live Zoom session where we can share screens and I can talk you through exactly what you need to learn. We'll also be rolling out some mini courses via our website that can be bought as well that will provide a resource that you can keep on hand to get you through certain functionalities in zero so keep a lookout for that as well other than that i hope you learned something and we'll catch you in the next one